Let's take a look at first quarter earnings from Twilio. Just reported by this San Francisco company, my neighbor out the window here in downtown San Francisco. And uh, I'm chief market strategist of Future Home Group, Corey Johnson. And Twilio is going through some really big changes, a somewhat new CEO, some business model changes, some segment reporting changes, making it hard for me to figure out all the time what's going on with this company. Uh, and yeah, you can change the fan belt whilst the engine runs, but it's hard and that's what they're doing. Wall Street likes a beat or a miss, and this was, I guess it was a, a, a beat as far as what Wall Street was looking for. Revenues of $1.047 billion, up 4% year over year. I don't know, they say organic was up 7%, uh, whatever. Uh, a a non-GAAP net income from operations up 15%. We like GAAP numbers. When you look at the quarterly numbers over the last few quarters and uh, last year, so you can see a trend and the trend's not their friend. Uh, they're going from 15% revenue growth a little over a year ago to 4% the most recent quarter. That's not good. We look beyond the headline numbers. They are generating free cash now, and that's a good thing. That's what they need to keep going here. Uh, and the free cash flow generation was better and getting better. Um, and their top 10 accounts are hanging in there. So as their business grows a little bit, their top 10 accounts are also growing at exactly the same pace. So maybe that means less customer, customer concentration going forward. As they, as they figure out what business they want to be in and what business they want to be out of, communications is the emphasis here. And you can see that over time, well, it's 93% in this quarter, over time, it really is squeezing out all of the other segments. Uh, so communications is the game here. Nonetheless, Wall Street not seeing the, any dramatic progress, which they might have liked. Stock down 7% in after hours trading. Uh, and for the year, the stock's actually up 21%. But uh, with a market up uh, oh, 25 or better, that's not good. So um, the, one of the persistent questions this company gets in its conference calls is what's happening with competition? And are, are the cheaper competitors customers can find online taking market share and hurting their volumes? What they said is that volumes eh, kind of more or less stable. That's what the CEO Kozma Ship Chandler had to say on the conference call. The volumes across the board have been more or less stable uh, but they haven't inflected. And, and I think that's kind of impacting some of the growth dynamics as we look forward. Uh, there's a bunch of new stuff in the hopper that we're kind of thinking about um, and executing against. It'll just take a little bit of time for uh, that to show up in some of the growth numbers. So it's going to take some time to show up in the growth uh, numbers. And I guess Wall Street's going to take some time to buy this stock right now because they're not seeing the growth they want to see right now. Wall Street's all about now. This company's about take your time. There's a mismatch of durations there, we're going to call it. We're also going to give you one number that tells you a whole lot, help you understand what's going on at Twilio. The Drill Down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. So Twilio reporting first quarter earnings $1.1 billion in the quarter. Uh, profits and free cash flow were okay, keeping the company alive. But the big story, the one number you want to remember for this Twilio quarter and really what's happening with this business is revenues are growing, but the growth is slowing 4%. There's your number, 4% revenue growth on a year-over-year -year basis. That's not great. But they're going to get better. That's what the company says. All right, thanks for listening to Drill Down Earnings. Check me out on all the socials. Drill Down Earnings, part of 6.5 Media.